Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for February 17th, brought to you today by editorial researcher Nina Whittle. Today's First Word Farmer News Roundup is sponsored by Sejadim. In our top news story, Le Figaro suggested that Sanofi may announce as early as this week that Olivier Brandicourt will assume the role of CEO. Brandicourt, the current head of Bayer's healthcare unit, had recently been named by sources as the leading candidate for the position. Also featured, Hospira launched the first biosimilar monoclonal antibody in major European markets including France, Germany, Italy and Spain. Inflectra is a biosimilar version of Remicade which recorded European sales of almost 2 billion euros in 2013. In other news, a phase 3 study of Takeda's motesanib in patients with non-small cell lung cancer failed to meet its main goal of progression-free survival. The company noted that as a result it will end the trial, which was investigating the experimental oral drug, among patients in Japan, South Korea, Taiwan and Hong Kong. In addition, CVS Health warned that PCSK9 inhibitors could cost the U.S. healthcare system as much as $150 billion per year. The pharmacy chain operator suggested that the treatments for high cholesterol will be priced in the range of $7,000 to $12,000 per year. And finally, shares in VBL Therapeutics fell as much as 45% after the company said it would stop developing an experimental drug to treat ulcerative colitis and psoriasis. VBL noted that VB201 failed to meet the main goal in separate mid-stage trials for the two indications. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Take a look at us now. The new mobile intelligence. performing better together.